I'm Paula Kahumbi. I'm an ecologist and a Kenyan and I run a campaign to save elephants. I run an organization called Wildlife Direct. Our campaign is called Hands Off Our Elephants and we partner with Amarula. Right now we are in the middle of a herd, the PC family in Amboseli. This is a population of the best studied elephants in the world. They've been studied for more than 45 years and every single elephant in this entire ecosystem has a name. So the PCs, every single name begins with P. So we have the matriarch, Placida, and we have a, a bunch of others. Um, there's Periwinkle, she's the big female down there with her calf. And Placida is walking off in the opposite direction. And so they've been rumbling to each other and saying, we want to go this way, no, we want to go the other way. And joining the herd today is a young bull whose name is Google. These elephants are just like human beings. I mean, you can see how calm they are. It's the best protected elephants in the world. They're calm, they let you come right up to them. They will sometimes walk right past vehicles. They don't seem to mind our presence, but they're very aware of us. Just like human beings, each and every one of them has a personality. They know each other, and they seem to also have a sense of who we are. They're relaxed, not worried at all. You know, what's amazing about elephants is how we can relate to them and probably how they can relate to us. And in this ecosystem, the local community has a very special, strong bond with elephants. They actually believe that elephants are almost human and that humans should aspire to be more like elephants. Calm, relaxed, wise, governed by females. Um, if you don't already know elephants and love elephants, then this is the place to come to because you can't help but feel awe and just be totally inspired by them. They are majestic. Somebody like Google probably weighs four tons or more. He could toss this car if he wanted to, but he chooses not to. He's just, you know, calm. When I'm with elephants, I have to say it feels like time slows right down. It's such a calming experience. I never tire of it and I can say that every single person I've brought out to meet elephants has gone away saying it was the best day of their life. So fall in love with elephants, come to Amboseli. Every 15 minutes, one elephant somewhere in Africa is being gunned down for their tusks. And it's not as if the tusks are useful, they're simply turned into trinkets, earrings, necklaces, carvings. Um, it seems such a tragedy that people around the world are buying these ornaments because they see them as beautiful and valuable, and they forget that an animal, a being, an elephant has been killed. When an elephant dies, the rest of the family becomes really, really traumatized. They, they mourn the way we mourn. They cry, they cry tears, just like human beings. And what a cruel thing to kill an elephant just so that you can wear its teeth around your neck or in your ears. It seems outrageous. We need all the help that we can get to tell people in the countries where ivory is worn, Australia, America, Europe, and especially Asia. I think when people fall in love with elephants, they wouldn't dream of uh, putting any piece of ivory anywhere near themselves. And perhaps they would do the opposite. Perhaps they would join us, support these campaigns, help us to stop the poaching, help us to stop the traffickers, and especially to stop the people who buy the ivory because they ultimately are the ones driving this entire crisis. My favorite thing about elephants is that they're ruled by the females. The matriarchs are just outstanding. We've just heard Placida rumble and tell the whole family who are actually spread out quite distant. There's some that are hundreds of meters away. And they all call back and she's saying, I wanna go west. And some of them are saying, 
we just want to eat and others are saying actually we want to go east and Placida will determine where they go she's super wise she's the one who will take the family to where there's good food to places that are safe she will navigate all kinds of dangers whether it's lions or people cars like us and she'll make sure that every single baby is safe so what you see in this family are several small babies some of the mothers are quite young and as the matriarch she'll make sure that mothers look after their babies well just like human beings young mothers generally don't know that much about raising their calves sometimes babies can't even reach the nipple and Placida is the matriarch who will actually explain to young mothers how to suckle their babies she will keep big bulls away from babies because they can be quite clumsy and they can knock the babies about you know not intentionally but but they might knock them with their feet she'll stop the the family when they're walking on a very hot day and she'll let the babies sleep and she'll stand with all the females around the calves and shade them from the hot sun it's it is just amazing to watch them and to listen to the stories people have observed how the matriarchs and the mothers will try to raise uh, an injured elephant they will carry a baby even after it's died they might carry it on their tusks for days sometimes their, their level of compassion their ability to communicate in a way that calms the whole herd we've even heard females that seem to sing to babies that are traumatized after their mothers have been killed they, it's like a lullaby and there's I think what I love most about them is that we actually don't know that much every day we learn something new and we realize just how much more there is to learn and perhaps how much more complex they are than us for a female elephant to be able to rule a family that can be dispersed over tens of kilometers mm. I mean we can only do it with technology they do it through this ability to communicate in in infrasonic sounds that carry over tens of kilometers she can keep um, dangerous other herds away she can she can even call her friends to come to her defense I, I just think it's extraordinary we have um, we'll probably never fully understand them and, and the sad part is that as we get to know them more and more especially in places like here in Amboseli where they're so calm and relaxed and safe in other parts of Africa they're being slaughtered and the gunmen go for the biggest elephants those are the matriarchs and so what you're doing is you're leaving behind families without their mothers their leaders the wise individuals who have learned from their mothers and grandmothers so what you end up with are these delinquent families of elephants who become problematic and then they cause problems with communities and people stop liking them this is this is what being with elephants should be like this is how how we can save them is when they're safe and they're calm and they're just such a pleasure to spend time with. I am, um, I think that uh, matriarchs, especially the really older ones, there are some here that are over 70 years old, they have so much to teach us as, as human beings, <laughs> not just as conservationists.